Okay, guys, we are pulling the rear end of the Lethal Camaro to see exactly what happened to it at the Redless event. Let's get to it. What's going on, guys? Matt here, Lethal Garage, and I am recording this video direct from my iPhone because I don't have my GoPro, and Mike was adamant in pulling the rear end today. The iPhone. <laughs> it's bad. So car is up on the lift mike's already pulled everything out of the way and now he we drained it actually here you want to you want to see the the metal sparks that were on the cap so the there's a magnet on the drain plug and it catches all the stuff and then mike couldn't put the drain plug back in because he found this yeah it's not good it's not good whatsoever so now he's pulling that bad boy out of there and I think we're gonna open it up and see just how bad it really is. So to pull this thing was like three bolts. You disconnect yeah, your drive shaft bolts. and your axles. Yep, hardest part is your exhaust on. Yeah, Mike hates my exhaust because I did the GM closed out rear fascia or valance or whatever you wanna call that. There's something in there shaking. Oh, he... That is not normal noises. No? Did that just pull out? That just popped out. That, that's not supposed I've to never, just... Never on a 610 have I had one of these just pop. Let's see what kind of party's inside of this thing. I need some sockets. I like how you're polishing trash. Like, literally. Like my car. Oh, that's not <laughs> nice. Your fourth gen isn't complete trash. It has no motor. I mean, the motor's in a trash bag. <laughs> take one of these apart before. Ooh. Oh, wow. There's chunkity chunks. That is gear, son. Look at all that. Yeah, that's actual gear. Yeah. There's a piece missing. Side out. That would be too easy. Okay, now that I made that look easy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ooh, that's hot. Oh. Here, we should flip it on its back. Holy cow. Oh, come over, Tony. Oh, look, it lit up the spider gear. Maple fed. Oh my God. It's legit. That's the thing there was a leak in there. It stabbed it. Oh yeah, it did. And that was, is that where it plugged in at? On that side? Yep. That, that's that's, so the, we that's couldn't, the cooler. We couldn't get the cooler line out because that chunk was pinching it in. Yeah. Yeah, that's the spider gear that goes down inside of here. So, oh, both of them are missing. <laughs> that's the shrapnel? Yeah, that's the shrapnel. So you can really see how this rear end works. These are the these are the clutch packs here. And basically this is what lets the differential move at different speeds, each axle, so it doesn't constantly want to, the drifter guys know what that is because then they weld them up. But these gears used to be down inside of here, kind of like that. <laughs> Used to be. Yeah. There they are right there now. Oh, yeah. But, oh, good lord. So, it just chewed that up. And I'm assuming that's why that's completely destroyed. It literally exploded everything. Look, there's that's, that's one of those spider gears actually compressed into and friction welded into the ring gear. That's impressive. That is impressive. I would have continued to pass. I tried. You saw the car would go nowhere. Yeah, it literally shattered the spider gears. So yeah, no way are we rebuilding this one. We bought a brand new replacement setup. Oh. This is the second time I've seen the spider gears explode like that. Well, the first one was on a manual. Uh, nope. Whose? No, it was an automatic pickup truck. 
Oh. We'd be, we would do burnouts so far that the, it was a one wheel wonder. So one will start start firing the other, and then the other one will start turning the other way. We were turning it so hard, literally exploded the spider gears. <laughs> yeah, I can't say it was my brightest idea, but we did it. Yeah. <laughs> that is not pretty. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty. That's pretty good on the launch. <laughs> that's just a lot. Sixteen degrees of timing. Yeah. According to the log, that's where it let go. Yep, 16 degrees of time. It's just carnage. So if you don't know what that is, that is your transmission fluid going into a cooler, cooling your rear end. That's mm -hmm. what your trans cooler looks like. Yep. A little baby brick. Oh, that's what your diff cooler looks like. Or, did I say trans? Yep, you said Sorry, trans. I meant diff. Okay, so that's the rear end out of the car. Not a pretty picture. There's a couple routes, route, right, routes you can go in replacing these. One, you can go online, eBay, Craigslist, whatever. There's tons of used ones on the market. I decided to just go with a brand new unit from GM, so that way I know it hasn't seen trauma. The only trauma it will ever see is what I introduced to it. So, yeah. And I don't know many people that have blown up their rear end in a automatics. It's driver error. I, it was my fault. What do you guys think? Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's I pretty bad. think that we should want three used ones to just take to the track with us because we're going to do this again. Well, I think I'm going to buy some used ones to have as backup, same with <laughs> axles. So that's in the plans for sure. And this is really awkward shooting a video on my phone because the lens is over here and not in front of me like normal. Sorry, apologies. So there you go. Short, quick video. Huge shout out to Red Barn Racing for uh, getting the car fixed. I, I did say in our video this was the weak link, and well, well, that, it was the week link. Well, this was the last link. Well, <laughs> is it? Is it though? It's the last link. We broke, Outside of we broke the crank. Replaced, we broke or replaced everything else. My crank and the block are still stock. Don't say that. that, is, that is, why that did is, you say that? Because no, that's the next week link. No. I jinxed myself. We're putting another stock rear end in it. That's the week link. That's true. That's true. <laughs> no one makes a built rear end. If you guys know of one, let me know. Yeah, uh, either way. That's it. That's all I got. Until next time. See ya. Don't even say Ford 9-inch. Yeah, 9-inch. Yeah, 9-inch. I think Strange makes a kit. What do you guys think? Is it Strange or G-Force that makes that kit? G-Force makes a full kit, but that means I have to buy axles, drive shaft. Well, it comes as a kit. Yeah. 9-inch. You're buying one thing. It just comes with everything. Yeah, Isn't it like eight or nine grand? Like six. Oh, you either no, this is your pennies compared to your paychecks. Oh God, I Look, wish. Put your snap on jacket. Yeah, I spent enough money on <laughs> <in> snap on. <laughs> Till next time, guys. I See you on the road. So obviously the old one, the new one, brand new, fresh unit from GM. Now, yes, we're going to run into the same potential problems with this one as we saw in this one if I'm still a dumb driver and don't get out of wheel hop faster. It is. I don't know if it was built in Canada or assembled, but I'm sure Maple Fed is really happy about that. Well, or no, Kyle. Oh no, no, he breaks rear ends too, so it only makes sense. Yeah. Should I say my, did you take it off? I did. You're gonna give that to him at some point, didn't you? Canadian, eh?